So are we ready? song for the soundtrack of the movie, You're the Church. It's Marlon. And we're running out of time. The script was written about 20 years ago, 20 plus years ago. I wrote the script uh, with a friend of mine, Dwayne. He's a PK, preacher's kid, and I grew up a Jehovah's Witness. And we had similar stories about going to church. And, uh, you know, you just notice stuff, man, you know. So here we are. We we did it. We're in post production. Release of it is in a few months. The audition process was interesting. Probably the most fun I had uh, auditioning people. We had the auditions in Chicago. Amen to that wonderful song of praise. Thank you, choir. Now we have a few announcements to make before we go. Uh, Sister Calloway is having a bake sale this Saturday, so make sure you pick up your sweet. Hey, man! Oh, uh, Brother Marlon, uh, I was here in spirit, you know. The door was locked outside. Uh, Chicago showed up and sold out, man. Shout out to Backstage. Uh, that site was a great help in finding the uh, talented cast members we stumbled upon. Uh, it was just fun, man. It was some uh, interesting people came in and quirky and different well, you know, ranges of personalities and and uh, skill level. The live read was just uh, was even more uh, enjoyable to see what you've written. Life is breathed into them. You, you're the architect, and the actors are the construction crew who come in and see the plans that you've drawn and make it happen. It, it was pretty awesome to watch when you were at the uh, live read and everybody's getting it, it was a, it's a great feeling. Lord, I have never questioned your will before, but these folks will be very upset if you don't come through with a man for me on my wedding day. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the script is just a blueprint. Sometimes things, great things happen by accident. Something you didn't foresee during the live read could happen on set and bam, that sets your precedent for whatever, the character, the story, uh, a new arc or whatever. We had a tight, nice little crew. You always run into issues. We ran into a few issues. Hey, I just wanted to say, if there's anything I can do for you, just let my assistant know. <laughs> Making a film is a matter of putting out fires. If you can put out all the fires successfully, you probably will have a finished product. My character, I got a small part, hopefully memorable. I play a visiting pastor coming through on parole, you know, uh, got a few words to say to the people. They don't let me out on weekends. Uh, the door's kind of tricky. Okay, but you'll, you'll work it out. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Deacons? Let's go. Uh, Deacons, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not done. Why y'all? I was just getting to. I, was, I can go to Genesis. Uh, uh, that's the end. Uh, why y'all? I was just getting to. Uh, Me. As an individual, writing is my first love, stand-up comedy is my second. I read somewhere Kevin Hart, comedian Kevin Hart, was just ordered to pay $20,000 in child support. Right, what? <laughs> I just got a divorce a few years ago, and if the judge would have told me 
I had to pay $20,000 in child support. Bitch, we getting back together. <laughs> they say from death to us part, and I've been watching CSI. <laughs> uh, my kids ain't worth $20,000. One of them got three cavities, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's renegotiate. <laughs> Thank you for your approval. <laughs> Thank you. He said, that is good, that is good. <laughs> I bet you enjoy this movie when it comes out. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. It's a fun movie. Something the whole family could watch. A couple catchphrases in it. Uh, I think we got a couple hit songs that will be coming with the soundtrack. You can go to amaruflix.com or you go to the Facebook page that we have set up for it. Google it. You're the church. That's about it, man. Um, we're going ahead and get back to this music thing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Thank you.